Hello, I'm Kendall, and I'm going to do a makeup tutorial because obviously I'm a makeup guru. So we're going to start out by getting your beauty blender under some soap and some hot water. Um, I don't really know what it does, but Lauren told me to do it, so I do it. So we're going to start with that. You're just going to squirt some soap. I don't think it really matters what type of soap. You just do soap. Okay, and then you turn on the hot water. And then you run it under the hot water and you clean it. And then somehow it gets, well not somehow, it gets significantly bigger because the water came into it. Okay, and then you dry off your hands because obviously they're wet from the water. And then you just start squirting stuff on your hand because makeup. So you get this CC cream. Um, it's purple, and you squirt it on your hand because you're going to put it on your face at some point. So you squirt it on your hand, like so. You can buy this at Ulta. I don't know where else. I bought it at Ulta. And then you use this stuff that I found in my makeup drawer. I don't know how old it is, but I use it. So you squirt that along with your lavender. And then you get really fancy and you get your MAC Matchmaster Concealer Stuff Foundation. That's what it is. And then you squirt that along with it. And then you're just super fancy with all this stuff on your hand and then you blend it with your finger. Okay, so you're mixing it all together and all this fun stuff. And then you start putting it on your face and you're hoping that you look decent. So, here we go. And then here comes the fun part. When you get to beat your face. Because apparently, to be beautiful, you have to beat your face and you beat it into your neck so that you don't have lines and you beat it into your face and all over your face. And then you look like a moon. Oh, you also beat it into your hairline because, I don't know, Lauren told me to beat it into my hairline. And then you just hope you look decent. And then you get this concealer, NYC Conceal Correct Contour Kit thing, I don't know. And you get a brush. Um, these are some ego e eco tools because that's what Lauren uses, so that's what I use. And you get this brush. Do you use the yellow or this one under your eyes? The yellow. Okay. Then you get this beautiful yellow, and you create triangles underneath your eyes so that you don't have black eyes or bags under your eyes or whatever because you're a college student and you don't sleep. Okay, so you create some triangles to look beautiful. Uh, yeah, this looks great. That looks so good. Okay, and then you also put a triangle right here, I think. Okay. And the yellow? No. Oh, okay. Never mind. You don't do that. Okay. <laughs> You're gonna clean this off real quick. Okay. 
And then you're gonna get this lovely other stuff that kind of matches your skin tone, kind of, maybe. And you, and you cover up your pimples and you do a triangle on your forehead. So you just dab it on your pimples everywhere. And you do like a nice little triangle V thing right here. And you look really good. Okay. And then you, you're done with that thing. And you use your beauty blender again. Okay, steady beat myself. Then, oh shoot, you get really fancy and you bring out your Pro Glow that you buy from Ulta because Ulta should sponsor me, basically. <laughs> and you whip this cool thing out. It's really beautiful. See all the awesome colors. What did you just say? Spend lots of money on this. You spend lots of money on this. Because you don't know how to do makeup and you think if you spend a lot of money you'll look good. I don't know if that's true. You can tell me at the end of this video if I look good. Um, did we use this brush? What brush should we use? My finger? I think we used my finger. Okay. So this is when you get the fun stuff and you get to contour and shit. I mean contour and stuff. Sure to bleep that out. <laughs> okay, so you go from where your hairline is to like around here, like like so. I don't know if this is right. I'm just gonna do it. You don't have to blend it in yet, cause you're gonna use your beauty blender and beat yourself again. Oh yeah, this looks so good. Okay, so you look like this. It might not be really even, but it's gonna try. <laughs> then you beat yourself. Can you make it look decent? Because that's what we're going for, is decent. Okay, it doesn't look too bad, I don't think. I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> you just really beat yourself. Beat yourself up. Okay, maybe I shouldn't say that. Okay, and then you look contoured as fleek. And then you get your cool Naked 2 palette out and you do some eyeshadow. And this is a really exciting part because if you're me, you don't really know what you're doing with eyeshadow. You just kind of hope it looks decent. You choose whatever color you're feeling like today. Today I think I'm feeling like some booty call because I don't know I feel like some booty call and then you just like put it on your eyelid and you hope you look decent and then if you want to get fancy you get a darker color like snake bite I don't think I've ever used snake bite and you put it right here and you hope that it looks cool and you blend it in like this does that look cool I don't know That one has more than the other. Okay. More is less, my friends. Right. Okay. So then you got your eyeshadow on. Okay, and then you get your black eyeliner on. Doesn't really matter what kind. I bought this at the um, drugstore on campus. It's CoverGirl ink it you just kind of get whatever because whatever will work and then you just rub it on your under eye like you're back in middle school and put an eyeliner on because that's the only way you know how to do eyeliner like so see that eyeliner wow Okay, so now you got your eyeliner on. 
You're looking good. You're looking fleeky. And then you're going to put your eyebrows on fleek with this Lancome Sorcel Styler. I don't know if that's some fancy word for eyebrows or something. I don't know. So you get it, and it kind of looks like a mascara brush, but it's not. You know, trying to be all cool like I know what I'm doing. And then you take it, and you just kind of fleek your eyebrows. Oh, until you uh, mess them up. But that's okay. Everybody makes mistakes. And this will just hold them in place and give them a little color. It's really easy to do every day as long as you kind of know the shape of your eyebrows. And then your eyebrows are on fleek. And then that's when you whip out your mascara. You kind of just use whatever mascara you can find. Just little samples that you get from like MAC. That's a sample I've gotten. And like Clinique. I kind of use just whatever I can get. Because mascara is really expensive and nothing really works on me. Because I just don't have my eyelashes. And you just... Put some eyelashes on and you just hope you look good. Okay, so then you got some eyelashes. Not really, but you try. And then this is when you get to do your blush or, oh, your highlighter. Let's not forget about that. I'm feeling pretty lit. So I'm gonna use my lip. Okay. So you just like kind of put it on your finger and you just like put it right here and you just kind of pat it all right here. Okay, I don't know if you can see that, but you got some highlighter on and then you get this, your powder brush, even though I don't wear powder, I don't know, Lauren said to do it and you just like make it look like it's just like magically there, like you just sparkle like a unicorn sometimes. Okay, and then you're looking real good, and then you get this brush, and you get your Lancome blush, it's like a cotton candy color, it looks really good on, my, I don't know why I got it, um, actually yeah, I do, I, was get, I got my makeup done for homecoming, and I bought it, so I bought it, and then you just, do a fish face and you put it on your cheeks. And then you look real good. And then you just choose whatever lipstick you're feeling that day. It's really fun just to play around with lipstick. I got this cool pink going out lipstick. And I got my everyday lipstick. And I've got this maroon lip gloss, it's MAC. All my lip stuff is MAC. But I'm gonna use my everyday lip, just because this is an everyday look. Not really, because every day I don't do my makeup. And then you just put it on. It's kind of an orangey pink. And then you just look real good. And that's my makeup tutorial. And I don't know how to stop this camera. Can you help, please?